if there was a, an Olympics for smoking, I'm kind of, I'm like more gold medals than Mark Spitz. Really? Yeah. Um, the thing is, though, about five months ago, um, because it was, it was really starting to affect my health, uh, I gave up. Mm -hmm. yeah. when, did you, when did you start smoking? When I was 10. <laughs> and at Sydney, at Sydney Boys High, I was sitting in English class one day, and I had my little piece of flint and three matches in, in my, my pocket. And uh, I just sort of adjusted myself in the seat, and the next thing you know... <laughs> I mean, I was only 13. I didn't have that much pubic hair ah. as it was. And I, I kind of pretty much killed the first crop. Oh, man. <laughs> How many were you smoking a day? Listen, that was one of the things that I was really clear about. I, I, I realised that I would lie when people asked me that question. Yeah. And I thought, if I'm lying to people when they ask me that question, then I've obviously got a real problem. Yes. Because I was smoking at least 40 a day. At least. Because of the nature of my business, I would get up in the morning and do business with Europe. In the middle of the day, I do business with America. Then you're talking 60. You know? <laughs> 60 yeah, cigarettes. Yeah. So I, I really had a situation where I just had to stop it.